first of all. Hey y'all, just checking in. It's my Asia here and I want to say welcome back to those of you who are coming back to me. Welcome back and I want to say welcome in to those of you who are new here. I want to say welcome. It's so nice to see you. It's so nice to meet you. Welcome to the My Asia Myths channel where we're here to talk about all things My Asia. So I just want to say welcome in, welcome in, welcome. So today's video, we're going to be talking about college. Yes, college. We're going to be talking about college, my college journey. We're going to be talking about where I am now. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So my college journey started when I was like, in 2018 when i was like either a sophomore or junior in high school i did dual enrollment and for those of you that don't know dual enrollment is a program where middle school or even high school students can attend college while in middle or high school i don't know if they're still letting middle school students do it but i know they were at some point but i did dual enrollment when i was in high school i got a lot of um core curriculum credits and stuff and so when it was time for me to graduate high school i graduated with honors and i sat in like the third row because i graduated with honors that's supposed to be important you know top of the class kind of thing and graduated with honors went to college in 2020 didn't really like take a break at all i just hopped right back into school after being in school for almost 12 years yeah hopped right back in school no break no breather i went to study a bachelor's in biology and an associate's in spanish which i later on changed my bachelor's to psychology and i kept my associates in spanish so you know the journey through college it was rocky it was rocky okay rocky real rocky i it was real smooth at first at first the transition was real smooth you know met a roommate had fun went out party did school work all, all the nine the whole nine but then i say Along the line, it just became too much for me. I think it was like my sophomore year in college. I'm still technically a sophomore. Um, I went to school for the summer. I tried to balance a whole job as a CNA. First of all, who ain't, who ain't tell me that being a CNA is not for the week? And baby, I'm weak. I can't do it. Like, I can do the whole wiping the butt, the different smells, the vomit, the... I can, I can do all of that. But one thing that I cannot do is juggle 15 to 20 patients all at one time. Especially during the 7 to 7 early in the morning shift. No. But let me hop back into the video before I start ranting. But yes, I tried to juggle a whole job being a CNA and taking two classes over the summer a whole STEM class, a whole chemistry class. And I think, I believe I took sociology. Whew, and boy, did chemistry kick my ass. Long story short, I ended up dropping it because it was just too much for me and I just refused to fail. I'm sorry, but I, that, that's, that's me. I'm that girl. It's either I know I'm gonna pass it and I'm gonna take it, or if I'm gonna drop it, or if I'm gonna fail it, Baby is getting dropped. That's just me. I refuse to fail. I do not like failure. Failure in my name together, not happening. It just, it just will not happen. I won't allow it. But yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I just tried to juggle too much at one time. And I really just got on here to say like, for those of you who are going through school and it's becoming unbearable, like the studying, just the whole atmosphere of it, like it's okay to take breaks. Take a break. 
you know, you've been studying for two, three, four, five hours now, it's okay to take a break. You've been in school all year. You wanna take the semester off? Go ahead. Take the semester off, but be, be diligent. I think that's the word. Be diligent because I took a whole semester off and I forgot some of my Spanish, but it's okay. We getting back to it, getting back to the basics. But yes, it's okay to take a break. It is okay to take a break. I feel like in this generation that we live in, especially like Gen Z, um, we want everything fast, like microwave fast. Two minutes, it's ready. And like, it don't work like that. Like it takes years, like, we we trying to be millionaires by 25 although it is possible because we 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 got we see people doing it now but it's with all that instagram social media stuff it's not easy it's not this youtube stuff it's not easy like this life stuff it's not easy it don't come easy either you gotta work hard for it but Another thing that I wanted to say was that if something is coming, becoming too much, just take a break. Take a break. Take a breather. Because that's what I should have did, but instead I kept pushing myself until I pushed myself into my breaking point. And I don't want anybody else, although some people have learned the hard way, I don't want anybody else to go through like the hardship that I went through because I didn't ask for any help. I sat and struggled when I didn't have to, you know? So ask for help and take a break when needed. So let's get back into the story. I reached my breaking point, could not take it anymore. So I had to take a break, literally just could not do it anymore. I wanted to quit, I wanted to be over with. I was ready to give up, but I decided that I was just gonna take a break, which I did. I took the semester off. So I didn't go to school um, fall 2021. Yes, fall 2021, I didn't go to school. And I didn't go, oh, dang, that's why I lost so much of my Spanish. I didn't go to school for two semesters. I didn't go to school for fall 2021 or spring 2022 because I waited too late. But I did end up going to school um, this summer. And be, like I said, I lost some of my Spanish. So I tried to take intermediate Spanish too. They didn't really work out. Like I said, I refused to fail. I dropped that class because I was not going to fail it. And I took psychology, which I did pretty decent in that class. I could have done better, but you know. We do better next time. We learn and we move forward. But I plan on taking another break, but hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I'm taking a break so I can revamp and expand my Spanish. I have a book from college that has like 18 lessons in it and it's 26, 26, 25 weeks until like my birthday. So I'm gonna go through all those lessons. And hopefully, I, th I think my grandmother has someone that can help me. My grandmother has someone who works at her job that speaks Spanish. So hopefully I'll be able to connect with them. But here's where I am now. Studying, revamping my Spanish. I'm working at Home Depot, working hard, you know getting cashier of the month for May, <laughs> period. Um, and what else? I started a business at the beginning of the year, the, the beginning and late of last year, I started a business and you know, that's going as best as it can be. I'm. I'm trying really hard, you know, trying to get myself out there, trying to build my clientele up, you know, the works. I just wanted to come on here 
and share my story kind of like and share my journey with you guys. I will continue to share my journey because I only got three more classes. Okay, so here's the plan. Hold on, before I, before I end this video. Here's the plan. I only have three more classes until I graduate. Two Spanishes, one science class. I'm gonna take Intermediate Spanish one and a science class, um, the beginning of 2023. And then I'm going to take either during the summer or the fall, I'm gonna take Intermediate Spanish two. And then I'm gonna graduate whichever season my graduation lands on. I'm gonna graduate. And the way my life is set up right now, I don't think I'm gonna go back to school to finish my psychology degree. I don't think I am. I really am not feeling school anymore. Really, truly, honestly. But yes, the, the, the gag is we're gonna get that degree. We're gonna get out of there. We're, we're done. <laughs> we're tired. <laughs> we're exhausted. We're done with it. But yes, I plan on using my degree to help people. We have a lot of Hispanic people here in Bainbridge, Georgia. And if I could do anything to help them, like I try my best now with the little Spanish that I do know. But yes, anything I can do to help people in general. So I just want to say I love you guys. And thank you so much for those of you who stayed as long as you did to listen to my story. And I, again, love you guys so much. And I just wanted to say, peace.